Happy New Year, Gardner-Webb fans. Brendan Boylan alongside head coach Alex Simmons following a 71-59 victory over the Winthrop Eagles here at home. Coach, a real sloppy first quarter, real sloppy first start. Eight turnovers to only 12 points at the end of one. What did Winthrop do to really cause problems? Um, well, Winthrop's an all-around um, athletic team. Um, but the one thing I will say about our team is we had energy. Um, we played hard. It was, I think the score was 2-2 two to two for the longest. Um, but on the defensive end, we were extremely aggressive, and that's what we asked for during practice. Talk about aggressiveness, 19 offensive rebounds. You guys nearly have as many offensive boards as you do defensive boards. What was the key to coming out on the offensive glass and dominating tonight? Well, we knew they were going to be aggressive also on the on the defensive end and the offensive end rebounding, so that was a point of emphasis for us in practice is um, we had to go to the glass hard, securing rebounds, chinning it, um, and not turning the ball over. And finally, Carly Plunovich honored prior to the game a real special moment, only the 24th player in Gardner-Webb history to hit 1,000 career points. What was that moment like for you, one and two? How much has she grown uh, here in her time at Gardner-Webb? You know, Carly's unique. Um, you don't you don't always get your your best offensive player as one of your best defensive players. Her her and Savannah, um, they've really sold out to that role. Um, you know, Carly stretches defenses out for us. She's also our defensive captain, getting people um, matched up. Savannah runs our team at the point guard um, starting out. So both of them are extremely unique because they play both ends. Um, you know, her getting her thousand point is no surprise because she's she's a talented player. Well, guys, that's all the time we have from Paul Porter Arena. It was also four charges taken by Carly Plunovich, just to add to Coach's point. For more information about her team, where they're going next, check out GWSports.com.